Hey, what is up you guys? Sam from Otaku back again doing another My Hero Academia box. This time it's the Ban Presto box, which isn't as much of like a loot crate one because you know full well of what is in it when you're buying it and it only costs $30 and not the $140 the other one costs. And it tells you on the back what's inside and everything. Hopefully you didn't see my address on the bottom there. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and we'll just take a look what comes inside. First thing on the top is a quick little preview of what's in there, but we'll see. So you do have a chance of getting, I think, like a rare version of the Deku figure that's supposed to come in here. So let's see if we can pull that off. First thing, good scene photograph. I don't really know what these are. I've never seen them before, but we're going to open them up and take a look. So judging from the back, it kind of sets up like a photograph. So you would kind of keep it on your desk or something, and it would look just like you have a photograph of someone from My Hero Academia. So I'm gonna be really careful here not to just completely fuck this up. Slowly take this out. Well, there's a bunch of photographs in here. Oh, so you could have your husbando. That's what they're called, right? Husband, husbando. So they're like clear files. Uh, one's Deku. Okay, they're all Deku. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get a uh, choose whatever husband you want sort of thing, but you know, damaged Deku, kind of serious Deku, and then nice, happy, or Happy Deku. So judging from this, it looks like you had a chance to get either uh, Bakugo, Todoroki, Deku, or the teachers. Wish I would have got the teachers, gonna be honest. Would have loved to have Aizawa sitting on my desk. So let's see how we set this thing up here. You, okay, mm-hmm, yes. Okay, can we get a close up? Look at the instructions on the back of that. There's legit A tab, B tab, C tab, D tab, E. This might be a hard cut, boys. Mounted picture. Step one. Step two. Inside, ready to go. So you slip it through. I don't know if the camera can see that. You slip this through the slit, and it goes into the bottom one, so it kind of locks. And now you have a little photo. Also, can be used standing up, it says. So if you had a stand-up photo, which we don't have any that are actually standing up like that, you could have that as an option. So that's pretty cool. I honestly think... Like, I know these are just kind of clear files. This is some of the coolest shit. Like, I wish we would get more of this stuff and less of the keychains. Like, this is cool. Like, I would love to have a fuck ton of these around my room just chilling. That'd be awesome. Then we have something that we're really familiar with. A shikishi, which is basically just like a cardboard art. And we got Todoroki, which, you know, better than Deku. So we'll take that. No real point to opening it up. You kind of get it. It's, that's all it is. It's not shiny. It's not anything. It's got his name. Pretty cool. And then we do have a couple of smaller things. I'm gonna save the figure for last. Looks like we have a pin or a button here, a big ass button actually. Let's open this thing up. Of All Might, dude, with the Loot Crate one and this one, I can be decked out in My Hero Academia gear for fucking ever. And then we have a Bakugo kind of keychain. So it looks like a lot of this stuff, I kind of took a quick peek at the uh, kind of chart, is you know what you're getting but you have a chance of getting any of like the main four people. So like you could have got for the Shikishi, you could have got Deku or uh, Bakugo or Todoroki or All Might. And then same thing with the button, same characters. Same thing with this, same characters. So far, we have a very eclectic mix here. We've not gotten any characters. I don't know if that's by design or we just got incredibly lucky. So that is all of the extra stuff. Now we're gonna move into the figure. Which, I just want to say again, the box is only 30 bucks. It's kind of incredible, the value in this small, small, tiny box. So let's see. Our options here is either just a regular Deku, non-shiny, or like a hollow figure. It's got a specific name for it. Okay, so if we're really lucky, you get shiny Deku. If you're not lucky, you get regular Deku. Let's see. If luck will smile on us this time, probably not, judging by how we got the Deku picture. That's the worst thing we could have got, but let's see. And all oh, the suspense. Watch me just rip it out and just break it. It's regular Deku. It's regular Deku. We'll still take regular Deku. I didn't show the box, but look at this thing, right? It's not very big. Um, and I did not expect such a big figure to come out of that. I thought it was going to be kind of like a tiny little one, basically like it would be standing up in the box already. 
But that's a full-size Grandista figure, which is what something we get out of Lutaku a lot, which they're really nice. Oh, this big boy quality one, dude. Shame we didn't get the really shiny one. But I'll take this. I, I think I kind of like my figures to just have the base color anyways. Because then it looks like they do in the show. So it's like, I do, would like this one, but you know, the cool factor of the randomly inserted one is uh, lost, unfortunately. And it's only three fucking pieces. Really two, because the one piece is just to hold him up. Damn, his hair looks like a fucking weapon. So it's obviously wrapped. Oh, he looks really good. That looks really, really good. I'm impressed with how good he looks. This makes like the fucking third big Deku figure that I have. And then which shoe does it go on? Probably this one's gonna be my guess. Yep. And there he is. This figure is quality, man. Like if you look on the back, he they put in little eye slits for his hood, which looks crazy. It looks really, really good. In classic, happy Deku. Uh, his hands don't really move. I don't really want to break it. I'm notorious for breaking shit. So I'm just gonna keep it at that. And this is kind of everything we got. The pin, the keychain, this cool thing that I've literally never seen before and I think is fantastic. The Shikishi, we've gotten these before. Love them, I buy them all the time. And then we have these extra clear file ones. I imagine we could have put it behind the uh, board that's in there to kind of keep them all together, which is probably what I'll be doing. But all in all, man, $30, Van Presto box. I think fantastic. They are doing one right now for pre-order. You unfortunately can't get this one. They're doing a Naruto version and a Kirby version, depending on which version you want. Obviously, we're going to go Naruto here. So we do have that on order, but if you guys want to place pre-order for that as well, I'll put a link in the description. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this was a fantastic box. And last thing, if you guys want to kind of see all the other options, there's the card for you. So you can see pretty much you have the four, and it's basically like a roulette, you know, or a slot machine, really. How many can you match up? So pretty cool. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe on the video, guys. It helps us out. We're almost at 1,200, so thank you very much. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.